Hello, I am Pritam Sen. I have secured All India Rank 5 in Indian Statistical Service Examination 2020. I was born and brought up in Kolkata, West Bengal. I did my graduation from Ashutosh College under University of Calcutta. I did my post graduation under University of Kalyani. After that, I joined IMRP International. I worked there for a period of three months and then I joined Women's Christian College and I teach statistics in Women's Christian College till now. Now since I was preparing for the examination alongside my job, one question that often comes to me is that how can you manage time for both of them? Well, I will say it's not impossible because first you have to keep your goal fixed. To me, clearing the ISS was the first objective and teaching was just my fallback option because in case you don't qualify for the ISS, you have to have your plan B. So teaching for me was my plan B. So what you have to do is after the hectic schedule or after your work, you have to find at least four to five hours each day and focus entirely on your preparation during that time. Because once you keep your aim fixed, you will find the correct motivation and dedication for your preparation as well. The examination, as most of you know, is conducted for three consecutive days. On day one, we have general English and general studies. They are descriptive in nature. On day two, we have statistics one and statistics two that are MCQs in nature. And on day three, we have statistics three and statistics four. They are also descriptive in nature. The four statistics papers are of 200 marks each and the GS and English papers are of 100 marks each. So in total, you have to give the examination out of 1000 marks. So coming to the day one examination, that is the general English and general studies, people tend to neglect these two papers, but I would suggest a good marks in these two papers will add up as a bonus. So you just find a one and a one or 1.5 hours per day between your studies and give it to the GS and English segments because otherwise what you can face is that when you approach the examination, when the time is nearing the exam, these two papers will act as a burden. So if you follow them regularly, if you study them regularly, you will not be burdened up. So give regular time to these two papers. And what I did is since my medium of study throughout was English, I did some internet searching for the proverb essays only. And I just followed the previous year's question papers. And by searching the year's question papers, I got an idea about the essay topics that are being asked. There are four to five topics every year and you have to choose any one of them. So, so if you go through the previous year's question papers, you will get a clear idea about what sectors they're focusing on. And you can follow proverb essays from any other websites, from any websites or books as well. So uh, there is a segment called a sentence correction that you can find on any YouTube channels. And there are also some make sentences with unknown words or phrasal verbs. For that, you can refer to any YouTube channels or any civil service books for English. Now coming to, to the general studies. Uh, well, general studies segment consists of four sectors like history, geography, polity and uh, current affairs or economy. Now what happens is that in general studies, we often tend to neglect one topic and study other three or neglect two topics or study the rest two. But I would suggest you to have a brief idea about every topic that are being asked and just uh, in, in the examination write in your own words. I have followed the McGraw-Hill edition of the latest version of Civil Service Prelims book that will cover up topics from history, geography, economy and polity and also the current government schemes. And for the current affairs, you can go through the, the daily newspapers or you can have any mobile version of the newspapers like the Hindu, NDTV or Times of India and you can go through them regularly. Now coming to the day 2 examination, statistics 1 and statistics 2, they are of MCQs type. The MCQs paper are very important from the point of view that at the end of the day, uh, if you uh, go through them very seriously, then you can find out that these two papers are the distinguishable ones because uh, good marks in paper 1 and paper 2 basically at the end of the day it makes a difference between successful and unsuccessful candidates so practice as many mcqs as you can you can practice mcqs from previous years iss question papers from the previous years net gate question papers as well and one more thing you can do there is a book called program statistics by b l agarwal it consists of mcqs from all chapters of statistics so you can practice mcqs from that book as well now coming to paper one individually, paper one is a bit lengthy from the perspective that it contains segments like numerical analysis and statistics and probability. 
and there is also a segment of computer um, computer in paper one and there is also a segment of computer so uh, if you study pap and if so if you go through paper one thoroughly you will see that computer segment is the most easy to answer because uh, it has some alternatives that you can just check on and just answer without even evaluating so it is the most scoring one you can answer 10 to 12 questions within a span of 5 to 7 minutes and the all other segments in paper one you have to evaluate them so you need thorough practice to score good marks in paper one now coming to paper two paper two contains segments like inference a linear model and official statistics paper two is a more conceptual one because we have to have a good subject knowledge to answer paper two and paper two is the most scoring of them all because in paper two what happens is that uh, if you have a good subject knowledge you can just look at some answers and and just answer them without even evaluating so that is the benefit of paper two paper two consists of a segment official statistics well the only source to read this segment is from the mosby website but if you don't have enough time to go through the entire website the least thing you can do is you just check on the previous year's question papers and try to analyze and study them conceptually because then you will have an idea about the official statistics segment moreover what you can do is uh, you can just go through the website and uh, learn some basic things like the divisions of mosby the sustainable development goals the national sample survey rounds and then you will have an idea about the indian official statistics system now coming to the paper 3 segment paper 3 is the most uh, difficult one from the perspective that the syllabus of paper 3 is quite large and the level of question is increasing year by year so in paper 3 what people generally do is they don't uh, learn everything from the syllabus but i will suggest everybody to uh, to learn everything from paper 3 because otherwise you will not be able to score good marks and coming to paper 4 paper 4 you will have the option of choosing two two topics from seven topics the topics i have chosen is sqc and demography and one should choose topics according to his or her strengths or according to his or her preferences and by looking at the syllabus now coming to the uh, books that i have followed well basically the most important asset that i had was my bac and msc notes i am thankful to my college university and tuition teachers for providing me with excellent notes that helped me throughout my studies apart from the notes the two most important books that you should have in your library is fundamentals of mathematical statistics by gupta kapoor and fundamentals of applied statistics by gupta kapoor in the mathematical statistics part you will have the topics like uh, probability and statistics inference numerical analysis covered in the applied statistics segment you will have time series index number demand and also sqc and demography covered apart from these two books you can follow fundamentals of statistics by volume 2 by gun gupta das gupta for demography and you can also follow uh, rohat gi saleh for inference as well for computer you have to follow the fundamentals of computer by e balaguru swami if you can find enough time you can follow pk sinha's book as well for econometrics you have to follow damodha gujarati so thank you dkt for conducting my interview and giving me the chance to explain my strategies to the students thank you